Monopoly Builder, how to play. The rules are the same as regular Monopoly, except for these changes. For a refresher of those rules, check out this video. The object of the game is to have the most points. During setup, give each player $900 in the form of two fives and tens, three one hundreds, and one twenty, fifty, and five hundred. Give each player their corresponding token reference card and four of the resources for whatever is shown on the left side of their card. Give each player their matching color buildings. Separate the resources by type. Place the builder bonus cards by the board. You may only have a maximum of six resources at the start of your turn. If you have more than six, pick the extras and place them on your current space on the board. After you roll the dice, all players collect resources based on the sum of the dice rolled based on your reference card or any property you own. As you move around the board, if you pass any spaces with resources on them, pick them up. You are allowed to trade resources with other players if you like for whatever deal you agree. You can also trade four of one resource to the bank for any single resource of your choice. After you've moved, you may build as many floors as you like. To build, give the bank the corresponding resources as indicated on your reference card for the floor you are building. You may build on any empty foundation space on the map. Buildings may not be moved once you place them. You may not build on top of another player's building, and the highest a building may be is four floors plus a penthouse. There is only one penthouse in the game, and once a player builds it, the game ends and points are scored. To figure out your score, score points for each building you have based on its height as indicated on your reference card. Score points per colored set you own as indicated on the card. For example, if you own the dark blue set, then you would score five points. Check and see who qualifies for the builder's bonus and add the points indicated on the cards to their scores. Then the player with the most points wins. At any point in the game, if you are bankrupt, you do not lose the game. After giving the creditor all you have, you end your turn and you do not take any future turns. But once the penthouse is built, you add up your score along with everyone else. Who knows, you might win.